Today we're going to be creating our 3D letters using one point perspective. So I'm going to start by dividing my paper into roughly thirds where the bottom third is a, it's a little bit lower on the bottom than it is to the top. And I'm going to start by creating block letters. So I'm using the guides to decide the height of each letter. So I'm just drawing a line in between those two lines I just drew to make the side of the L. I'm going to continue just making my block letter using nice right angles and my ruler to get straight lines. I'm creating my block letter. So there's the first letter, L. So then I'm gonna create two little dash marks for the O to decide where the sides of the O are, and then I'm just making an oval that reaches all the way up to where I created that the guide and down to the bottom line for the guide, and I'm just gonna create the inner oval to make that, um, the, all the letters should be roughly the same thickness. So here I'm just gonna finish up by drawing in my E, and I use the ruler to get all those straight lines, make them nice, the letters nice and even. So the next step is I need to draw in my vanishing point. So remember, that's where everything recedes into the distance. So here's my vanishing point, and I'm gonna make everything connect to that point. So I start with the first corner, and I'm gonna just draw it and extend it all the way to that vanishing point. Then I go to the next sharp corner, and I extend it to the vanishing point. Now here, where I would draw through that O, I'm kind of skipping over it, so I don't need to draw through the O, because then it gets sort of confusing. So I'm just skipping through and not drawing on top of the O. So don't draw on top of the letters next to each other. So now for the O, I'm choosing the whitest side. So see here, I see where it'd be whitest, and I'm, that's where I'm creating the line to the vanishing point. I'm gonna go through and erase those other lines um, where the O kind of blocks. So now I find each of my corners from the V, connect them to that same vanishing point, and I just rotate my ruler and always make sure that the lines connect to the vanishing point. And see, I'm not drawing all the way through for these E's. I'm just making short lines. So now I decide how far back in the distance I want my letters to go, and I just drew another horizontal line across to decide where those, line, those letters go back, how far they go back. And I can go ahead and erase everything past those letters. So think of these as kind of like buildings, and I see that the top, this would be like the roof, and that's straight, because to have a nice flat roof. And then this, wall and actually I realize I forgot to one of my vanishing or one of my lines to the vanishing point so I'm going to draw that in. So now for this next wall it's kind of like a horizontal or a vertical line there to make a wall. Do you see how I did that? I created it so it looks kind of like a tall wall there for the L. So for the O I actually want the 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 line in the back to to follow the same curved shape. So see how I'm making it's curved there and it's curved there. So I'm making it curve in the back so that the end of it follows that same curve at the front of the letter. So that's sort of like a cylinder that goes back into space. Now my V is just straight across, straight roof, but here this angle I'm going to continue. So the angle at the front of the V is the same angle that I use for the back of the letter. And then my E just goes straight across and down there. And now you can see these look like three-dimensional um, letters. You could almost imagine this to be a big sculpture, to be a building that spells this out. So I'm going to go through and erase all those extra lines that I don't need. And that's it.